Welcome or welcome back and I need help at Cisco. In this example, you need to solve a system of equation. And if you noticed, we have a, an equation that is non-linear. The graph is not aligned. So this is a system of non-linear equation. However, the first equation is a linear equation. And I can solve either for x or y in this equation. I'm going to solve for x, for y, I'm sorry. So I'm going to subtract x and I have y equals 5 minus x or negative x plus 5, it's also OK. So the equivalent system of equation with the original one will be obviously y equals 5 minus x. And we're going to keep the second equation as it is. And now we can use substitution. We can take 5 minus x, this y, 5 minus y is nothing else than 5 minus x and replace this y in the second equation. So the second equation becomes x plus 4 squared plus, and again, that y, I said, is going to be replaced with 5 minus x. And then we have this minus 5 equals 16. And don't forget the square here. So now we can do a couple things here. First of all, we, can, we notice these two uh cancel out the five and then negative five and also we can foil x plus four square or use the shortcut in uh, if you know it and then the shortcut uh this being a perfect square is x square plus eight x plus sixteen um as you notice here we have a negative x square that will be x square uh, equals sixteen Another thing that is, uh, if you notice, will be good. We notice that we have these two 16s, one on left side, one on the right side. You can cancel them like that, or you can subtract them on the both sides. But I think it's faster to just uh, cancel them, simplify like this. And then we have x squared and x squared. We're going to combine the like terms, and that will be 2x squared plus 8x, and that will be equal 0. So now we have 1 quadratic equation, we can uh, solve this quadratic by factoring by using the GCF method. The GCF of 2x squared and 8x is 2x. And then x plus 4 goes inside of the parentheses. And now since we have the factor form, we can use the zero product property, make the first factor equals to zero and the second factor equals to zero. And so if we solve the both uh, equation, we end up with x equals 0 as a solution for this quadratic and x equals negative 4. But this is a system of equation and also we need to find beside x dy. And you can pick any of these two equations, but I think the best one is to pick to be used is the first one. And in the first equation, I'm going to plug first 0. So I have 0 plus y equals 5, which gives me an y of 5. So one solution for this system of nonlinear equation is 0 and 5 in this format of order pair. But as I said, we have a second solution because we have another x, x equals negative 4, right? x equals 0, x equals negative 4. And again, we're going to plug in the first equation and we end up with negative 4 plus y equals 5, add 4 on both sides, and we end up with one y of 9, which gives us the order pair negative 4 and 9 as a second solution for this system of nonlinear equation. Uh, also, you can see a graphical approach for this problem uh, right here, and you notice uh, this is the first equation, the line. This is the second one, which I said is not a line, it's a circle. And we have these two intersection points, uh, which are the solution of this uh, system of nonlinear equation. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.